Yeah. Next we have Mr. Eric Russo. Hello, and uh, I wanted to thank all you thank all you guys for being here today and uh, to hear our voices and to hear what we have to say. Um, I've heard a lot of really, really great, you know, big concept things, and uh, what I wanted to talk about was something very, very s small, which might be small to some people, but to me it's a big thing, and uh, recently it's been a lot bigger thing for me. Um, as you said, my name is Eric Russo. Um, Eric Russo is my married name. Eric Minor is my bachelor's name, um, for lack of a better masculine equivalent to maiden name. <laughs> um, I was just married October 11th of this year in Annapolis, Maryland. three years, Matthew Russo, um, and I speak here to, to um, advocate that any uh, state domestic partnership or civil union legislation that you guys are considering um, make provisions for legal name changes. Um, you know, before uh, USV Windsor, uh, I wasn't able to change my name on uh, any legal level without petitioning the court, paying a fee. Um, waiting a couple of months to go before the court, having the judge issue issue the name change. Um, and since the Windsor decision, I'm able to uh, get my name changed on a federal level. So um, my social security card now reads Eric Russo. My passport, which I just filed for this weekend, reads Eric Russo. Unfortunately, Florida doesn't recognize my mar marriage certificate as a uh, reason for name change. And so my uh, driver's license still says Eric Minor. My uh, Florida registration still says Eric Minor for voter registration. Um, so I'm kind of still living under these two different names. Um, I've read some things about using a passport, and I know it's kind of new. You know, Windsor was just this June, and it's only a October, so it's still early and a lot of things haven't been addressed yet. But, um, you know, I understand that, you know, the constitu a constitutional amendment change or a court order um, changing the Constitution it may not be in the cards right now, but um, I'd like to ask that, you know, any, any uh, legislation that comes before you that talks about uh, domestic partnership or registry also include provisions for name changing as well. Thank you. Thank you.